Hi everyone, this is Eiffel. This topic, I will introduce how to use MOBUS control Delta ASD servo digital input and output. First of all, you can see the built-in digital input and output of our uh, standard bus type drive. For uh, Delta third generation servo drive, uh, F3, B3, the built-in uh, digital input is uh, 10 and 9. Both output is uh, 6. You can see the system architecture. Uh, we can use uh, either let up with a uh, software, uh, POC, or HMI control a uh, servo, uh, digital input and output through IS485. And today I will show you uh, HMI and uh, let up with software. If you use a uh, HMI or POC, then we have to uh, set up the MOBUS parameters like uh, station number, bow rate, and the protocol. Then uh, we will talk about the digital input and output uh, control. For digital input and output, we define this in uh, from P2 uh, 010 to uh, 17. And for some uh, virtual DI or uh, DI9, DI10, we uh, define uh, from P2036 to 40. And digital input control, we can use uh, both parameters uh, P006 and P4007. Then uh, digital output will define in these uh, six parameters, and we can use uh, P4006 to control the status of uh, this digital output. Uh, if you still remember, uh, for A3, we have 10 DI. So that's why from 11 to 13, I put the V. V means uh, virtual, virtual DI. And today's example, uh, we use B3. So that means uh, even DI10 will become virtual because uh, for the physically, we have only uh, nine uh, digital input. OK, so here you can see this is the bit uh, from bit uh, 0 to bit 12. And this is the corresponding uh, parameters. So that means uh, DI1 will define in uh, P, uh, P2 uh, or 10. Then 11 will be DI2. Uh, 12 will be DI3. And the DI9 will equal to uh, bit 8. Then we define this in uh, P2 or uh, 36. Then come to the definition of P3006. If we define this, uh, I mean each bit uh, to zero, that means the digital input will control by the physical DI. Means you give the extra signal from uh, CN1, okay? If we want to control by the uh, MOBUS, then we have to define the bit uh, to 1. So for example, if we want to control a uh, digital input DI1 to uh, 8, then we have to define uh, this all this bit uh, on. So if we define P3006 uh, equal to to 55, that means uh, DI1 to DI8 will control by P4007. And if we define uh, P3006 uh, equal to 1023, then that means you will include uh, DI9 and the virtual DI10. Okay? Here I will show you. Uh, what's the sequence? So first of all, we have to define the value in uh, P, uh, P3006, then we give the value in uh, P4007, then we can get the results. Okay, so first of all, we use uh, uh, 255, then we give uh, 255 in both uh, P3006 and P4007, then you can see from the software that the uh, DI1 to DI8 will all on. And second case uh, is uh, we define P3006 as a 255. 
but in uh, P4007, we give a uh, 511 uh, Even you write the value, but it will immediately uh, back to uh, 255. So the result will still uh, be uh, DI1 to DIA on. So this means uh, uh, P4007 will still uh, controlled by uh, P3. Uh, P3006 and another case uh, we keep uh, P3006 1023 and P4007 we keep uh, 1023 or 511 so you will get a uh, DI1 to DI10 uh, actually virtual DI10 and uh, DI1 to DI9 uh, on. Then we come to digital output uh, setting. So you can see this one is the digital output one, digital output two, then digital output five and digital output six. So this is the corresponding uh, setting. And here you can see if we define a P4006 equal to one, that means DO1 is on. And if we define P4006 equal to 15, then uh, DO1 to DO4 will be on. And then you can see uh, here I use the uh, gray back, uh, background color. That means the mobile address of these uh, parameters. So now I will link to the server drive. So we can search and add the device. OK. After that, we can read the parameters back. OK, so if you still remember, uh, here we have to give the value to uh, P3006, and we give uh, 255 first. Then we can go to uh, P4007. And before that, we can open the digital input and output and monitor the status. So as you see now, all the input status is uh, zero. And then we can modify the value. Again, here we give the 255. Then we go back to check the status. So you will see now all the value uh, is on. And then we can increase the value of P3006. We change to one, oh, sorry. We still use a 255. And then we can increase the value of P4007. Uh, Maybe keep a 511. But you see, you will uh, right back to uh, 255. And then we can increase the value to 1023. Then we can increase the value 511. And then we can check the status. So you will see now. Uh, DI9 also on, and if we increase the value to 1023 or uh, DI10, uh, we also uh, become true. Okay, so you can see now. And as you can see, we already defined the uh, uh, parameters. So this output bit is the uh, controlled by MOBUS, and then we can give the value uh, in P4006. Okay, we modify this value to uh, 1, 5. So that means uh, DI, uh, sorry, DO1 to DO4 will on. Okay. Okay, next I will use a HMI to show you. So before we do that, we can change the value back to 0. We check the status here again, so you can see both become empty. 
and then we increase uh, sorry create the project okay here we select a delta controller as key we select a 7e1 uh, 9600o then station number is 1 and because I want to show you uh, through a VNC function so here we have to define the IP address of HMI uh, before we go further then we can see one more thing that also very important uh, no matter you use a MOBUS or uh, can open DMC net or EtherCAT. This is a very important uh, parameters. This parameter uh, is a P2 uh, 30. So uh, basically, we'll suggest you put this one to 5. And the reason you can check here. Uh, if you don't write the value to 5, that means every time you modify the value of parameters, then it will reduce the lifetime of double E prime. And then I will show you the uh, HMI uh, setting. Uh, this example, I will use a uh, server as a uh, station one, and protocol is a nine six double O and seven E one. Okay, so that's why here we select a uh, seven E one on nine six double O. And if you still remember for the digital input, we use a uh, P3006 and P4007 and this is the corresponding uh, MOBUS address if you forgot let's check again uh, 3OC uh, 4OE and uh, 4OC okay so you can see so then we create the numeric entry for And if you still remember, we have to go to the network setting and enable a VNC. Then we can, uh, sorry, one more thing that uh, others, uh, this one you can control the uh, uh, brightness and the uh, buzzer. Then we can download the program. After that, we can uh, open VNC Viewer and uh, enter the IP address. Our default password is one two three four five six seven eight. So we can log in, and this one uh, let's change to two five five first, and then we can enter uh, two five five. Then we uh, check from the software here so you can see now uh, from digital input 1 to 8 will become true and if we re reduce the value for example uh, 31 
then you can see okay and we increase to 127 okay and then we uh, control the output digital output uh, through here uh, example we give seven so you will see these three uh, output uh, become true so let's all for uh, these topics in the introduction uh, hope this one can help you understand more about how to control digital input and output of our servo drive thank you